Guten Abend, Rauda audience. Today's band comes from Germany. Not so surprisingly after my great Germanic <laughs> hello. Um, this one is called Hohenstein and it's out now with the debut album called Weiser Hirs. Um, after the pretty good demo in 2019, uh, this band from 2018, founded that is, uh, is now already back with a new release and uh, much like the demo, this is released through Purity Through Fire. And um, not much has really changed, which is kind of a given, given the short span of time since the first recording. But now this 42 minutes or so is coming back with more melodic, melancholic and interestingly, interestingly <laughs> um, slow pace black metal now as you can as you pretty much know i guess most bands are usually rather high tempo not necessarily blast beats and whatnot but usually black metal is not known for being kind of a slow almost like doomish a slow tempo stuff but that's exactly what hohenstein is doing and i think that's one of their forte uh, given that it's rather uncommon versus being the standard doing this kind of a slow tempo black metal. Now in the core there are these guitar melodies which are somewhat even folk metal like. I mean you can pretty much hear the kind of a traditional sounding melodies with the music and while it's, it's not folk metal as such some of those riffs could be very well be in a more like pagan folk kind of a stuff. You just would add some harp and there you would have it, kind of a folk metal style. So there is a very thin line, almost blurred line between Hohenstein's style of black metal versus the rather typical folk pagan stuff. But that's obviously a matter of perspective rather than anything else, whether that is a good thing or a bad thing. Here on Metal Hacker's side you can see how short the discography actually is. There's very little information given that there's only members list mentioned no related links whatsoever. I did a little bit googling, couldn't find any Bandcamp site nor Facebook hits. I don't know if they are there, maybe they are not easily to be searched or they are not there just yet. Might be later on, who knows. Um, anyway, this is basically all you need to know. But however, since there are no links to the music, I really can't give them to you. Might be on YouTube already, uh, might be on uh, streaming services. So you have to do a little bit homework for yourself in case you want to listen to this one. Uh, this is already out in a few versions. Here it says CD, which is the A5 size. This one, which I didn't get for review. Also vinyl and tape. And then this basic CD, which I just showed to you. Uh, so at least four different versions exist, even though this has been out only since 4th of April 2020. Like I said, this music being kind of a melancholic, uh, melodic, uh, slow tempo black metal, I think that's all you need to know about the music, whether or not this is your kind of cup of tea. Basically, this album has nothing original, original nothing of originality uh, in the terms of what kind of uh, ways the band tries to convey its music. I mean, the songwriting is pretty classic and screamy vocals are kind of a safe bet here and the kind of a little bit I wouldn't say weak, but not exactly powerful guitar sound is something kind of a very typical to um, Eastern European or Central European black metal sound. So all here sounds very, very familiar in so many ways. And this can be either a plus side or a minus side thing, depending, of course, on which expectations you are putting this against. Now, I don't mind that a band is not original if the music is good and for the good side of Hohenstein, I can say this is mostly good stuff. Not memorable and not really my preferred cup of tea because I mean I'm usually more into either way raw stuff, way catchier or just something that is way more evil and sinister. Now in my opinion Hohenstein is on the lighter side of black metal, the kind of a uh, safe and easy to listen to. But you know if you're looking for really satanic evil kind of a black metal this is not gonna appeal to your tastes 
Nordis will convince you to check it out if you want all the way down your music fast tempo a Marduk or Dark Funeral. So um, this kind of requires you to have a certain, of a, um, certain set of black metal, you know, to fit your taste buds. Now I'm saying this is rather nice an album, a good continuation to that demo that was out like a year ago. But still, this is, in my opinion, very much work in progress. Because now it seems like everything is kind of a safe bet versus doing a little bit something uh, that could be seen as courageous, you know? Uh, being ready to kick down those fences and going a little bit off-road, maybe adding some uh, seasoning to, you know, stand out from the rest. So why not mediocre release at all? This still lacks something that makes it worthwhile versus so many other bands out there. Obviously, a new band with a new career to make and all that stuff. It takes time, but worth listening. Not maybe worth praising, but still worth listening. So unfortunately, I don't have those links, but maybe you will find the album worth your listening. And in case you just happen to have a soft spot for melodic, slow tempo, melancholic black metal, you can pretty much just order this right away without even giving it a listen. With all the, uh, those things being said, I hope you enjoy it and take care my friends, be well during these epidemic times. Bye bye and see you next time.